Hi everyone and welcome to its Electronic Technocrat. In today's tutorial I'll be telling you about temperature sensing using LM35. Yes, you're correct, LM35. Um, it's a new name for you, right? Don't worry, I will tell you the pin diagram of LM35 as we proceed with the video further. Alright? So first of all, before moving on to the project, we will know what are the components required to mount on this breadboard. The first component we're gonna be using is the IC7805. Now you must be very much confused about why is the name called 7805. Don't worry, I will tell you. So the number is 7805. This IC's number is 7805. Alright? So what does this 7805 indicate? So let's divide into two parts. The first part will contain 78 and the next part will contain the next part of the number that is 05 alright 78 is the series name in which these ICs are available like the 78 cross cross series those cross cross series are been filled by numbers now for example in our project I am using this IC alright this is IC 7805 that's correct alright so 78 denotes us the series number and 05 denotes us the voltage it needs to be operated operated on alright so what is that 05 it is the maximum voltage this IC can operate on or the maximum voltage for which this IC works alright so this is available in one more uh, type that is IC 7809 and these ICs are basically called as the voltage regulators Alright, they regulate the voltage so that no excessive voltage can flow through this IC or the circuit. IC7809 has got its name again from the same uh, partition which I have made before. 78 is a series number and 09 is the maximum voltage that IC can withstand. Alright, so in this case we are using IC7805. Alright, that means I will give straight away plus 5 volts to this IC so let's plug in here first ok so I have plugged in IC705 here the next component we are going to use is LM358 IC yes LM358 IC you will come to know uh, later in the video I will tell you about this uh, about this IC's pin structure alright like what pin is used for what alright for now, I am inserting it in this breadboard. Alright, so we have inserted IC7805 so far and IC LM358. The next component we are going to be using is the most important and the topic name is being based on this. It is the IC LM35. That's correct, LM35. This is this IC, LM35. This IC is usually used for the temperature measuring purposes. Alright, so before I attach it to the breadboard, I will tell you about its pins. You see here, here, the pin I am pointing is the pin number one. Keeping this back side to your face, you will count the pins. This is the first number pin, the second middle one is the second number pin, and the last one is the third number pin. The first number pin, whenever we use it, that pin has the function called or we can say the first pin acts as a VCC or we can attach VCC directly to the first pin. The second pin is the output, the middle one. The middle one is the output pin and the third pin is the ground. Alright? That, that means the third pin will be connected to the ground. So let's attach it here. I'm gonna attach it with the back to me and the hump facing ahead. Alright. So the next component what we're gonna use is this blue colored screwdriver thing. What's this uh, thing? This is called as the 10k preset pot. This pot is being operated like this. We take a screwdriver 
we vary the resistance as we do in our normal pots as well. So this is how you vary the resistance using this pot. This is called as preset pot. Same thing, it has got three pins here. The pin that is at the uh, leading part, that is the front pin, is the output pin and the back two pins are the VCC and the ground. Alright? So, first of all, let's start our connection with IC705. Alright? So, IC705's pin number 2 has to be grounded. So, let's ground the pin number 2 here of IC705 into the ground rail here, down. Yes, the ground rail. So, I have grounded this IC705's second pin to the ground and the third pin will go to the VCC. Alright? So, let's plug in the third pin into the VCC here. Here we go. So, we have plugged in the third pin in the VCC. The first pin will be connected in the later part of the video. Alright. So, this is uh, IC705's connection. Now, we will move on to this IC's connections. Alright. That is the LM35 fit. So, before we go on to this, I promise that I will tell you what are these pins functions. It has 8 pins. Alright. The first pin uh, here. The first pin starting from here remember whenever you attach an IC in the breadboard the notch here you can see the half circle here semicircle it should be on your left side all right the notch this notch that you can see here it should be on the left side all right so the first pin here the first pin is the output pin all right the second pin is the inverting input pin whatever the input will be given to it it gets inverted that means if we get a sine wave all right so in the output we get an inverted sine wave by an angle of 270 degrees or 180 degrees all right ic has two sets of op amps all right you must be knowing that isn't it the third pin here is the inverting input pin again so that's the second inverting input pin of this IC alright I won't go into deep alright so I'm just telling you what are the uh, functions basically or we can say the naming of the pins the third pin here is the another input or we can say inverting terminal alright the fourth pin is the VCC that is the main power supply pin is connected here alright the fifth pin is a ground and the rest of the pins we won't be using it much so I won't be introducing you or confusing you much more again for that so let's proceed here so now we will go to 358's connection here the pin number 8 has to be connected to the VCC here let's connect it to the VCC here I've connected pin number 8 of this LM358 to pin number or we can say the VCC rail all right and now we connect the pin number four to ground all right so what we have done we have connected the pin number eight to the VCC and the pin number four to the ground terminal all right so now let's move on to the next connection now the connection the next connection would be placing this spot how do I place this spot here in this circuit just watch carefully and just listen what I'm trying to say. Alright. It has got two legs behind. Alright. You can see this. Two legs and one leg in the front. Alright. So that one leg has to be uh, placed to the pin number one of this LM358. And one behind the leg behind it that are these two legs out of these two legs one leg should be in pin number two and one leg should be outside and the front leg should be in pin number one of the LM358 alright that means it should be like this so I am placing it here okay so I have placed it here so what I have done basically here is I have placed this uh, pot 
it has got three legs all right two legs are behind and one leg is in front the the two legs which are behind put one leg in pin number two of this 358 and put the first leg that is in the front you can see here the, this front leg is in in the pin number one socket of the LM358 all right all right so now I've connected the port as well now take 1k register here here it is the 1k register it has got a color band of uh, the red or we can say brown black and red and the last ring is the golden ring all right so take a 1k register put it in pin number two here so this is the pin number two here and connect it to the ground terminal or we can say the ground rail all right attaching it or placing this register plays a very important role remember it so insert it very carefully otherwise the register won't work all right so we have connected the 1k register in pin number 2 of the lm358 so one end to the pin number 2 of the lm358 and the next end in the ground grail all right so let's move on to the next connection the next connection would be lm358 lm35's connection as i've told you earlier lm35 is pin number 1 all right lm35 is pin number 1 is the vcc pin the second pin is the output pin and the third pin is the ground pin all right so we are clear about it so now let's connect it okay so take one wire all right take one wire connect the pin number one of this lm35 to the vcc this is pin number one will be connected to the vcc here vcc rail connect the pin number or, or i can say two uh, to the pin number three pin number two to the pin number three of the lm358 and take another wire and connect pin number three of the lm35 to the pin number or we can say the ground rail here here is the ground rail so i have connected in the ground rail so what basically i have done here i have connected pin number one of this lm35 to the positive rail pin number two is connected to the lm35 ic's pin number three 358 ic pin number three lm35's pin number three has been connected to the ground all right so now i move on to the indicator part so we have connected a circuit all right but we need to indicate that a temperature is increasing as well as the temperature is decreasing so what sensing element do we need we won't use any sensor or we won't use any lcd screen but instead we will be using an led that's correct led you must be knowing about led right i don't have to tell you anything extra this is the negative terminal this is the positive terminal the positive terminal is called as the anode and the negative part is called as the cathode so just put the positive part on the longer end here in the pin number one yes you're correct you have to place this LC LED here in pin number one of this LM358 I see and then cathode part you have to put it in the ground so here I am I've connected this here all right so the connection is done so now I will apply the battery here so that we can get the output this is a battery with a clipper so the negative part here the negative part will be connected to the ground rail here that's the ground rail here all right all right so basically what i have done here is i've connected the battery's negative terminal in the negative rail here and the positive terminal to the ic7805 that is this ic's pin number one all right so now we are all set to see what is the indication that LM35 gives us when we increase the temperature? So let's see this. So now we are all set to see whether our LED works or not. So let's take a soldering machine and we will heat the LM35 from the front face here. Here we go. We are heating this 
LM35's front face here. Alright, so here we go, we are hitting the front face. And you can have a look on this LED. It's glowing, glowing and glowing here. Here we go. So it's glowing. Yes, so the, here we go. So that's the output. When we hit this LM35, we get an indication from the LED that this sensing element is working properly. Alright? That means as we increase the temperature here, as we go on increasing the temperature, what happens is the intensity of this LED here, you can see the blue LED, it goes on increasing. So that is basically our project here uh, that, we, uh, that I wanted to show you that how LM35 can act as a temperature sensor and how it is used in the industrial purposes. Just when I... Uh, apply this soldering machine here to this uh, LM35 IC the temperature goes on increasing so after it goes on increasing so what will happen is eventually this LED will glow brighter alright at one situation what will happen is this LED will be completely turned off why? because the LM35's internal temperature has cooled down alright so that is basically what I wanted to show you in today's video how LM35 senses the temperature and indicates it using an LED. Alright? So as we so what's the funda and what's the summary of this video? As we increase the temperature using LM35, or we can say using a soldering machine, as we go on to apply this to the LM35 IC, what happens is the LED will LED's intensity will glow very, very high. So thanks for today, so thanks for watching it and do subscribe, do like and do comment about what you feel about this project and also say that 